Hello, my dear students. Uh, welcome back once again online classes. This is the Gupta, your English faculty at the school, Bansur. So, my dear students, I know you are enjoying at home all these chapters, so whatever has been taught to all of you, and some grammar portion I have completed, and some reading portion also I have completed. In this uh, year, uh, English poem is uh, left, uh, which is chapter uh, uh, which is after chapter number one okay that's name is you know very well uh, poem number one class six a house a home which is written by by Lauren and Holly okay I hope you will enjoy this uh, poem this is very interesting and very emotional poem and here it is a very important and interesting thing which you will going, you will be definitely will learn something different like this. Uh, anybody can ask you, uh, what is the difference between house and home? If both meaning are same, ghar. Both meanings are same, ghar. So how can you differentiate here? That what's the meaning of house and what's the meaning of home? Okay, let's see. We, we are going to start the poem number first. You can open this page, and page number is uh, 15. Okay, let's start. A house, a home. Oh, what is the difference between a house and a home? Discuss it with your partner, uh, then read the poem. When you are going to read this poem, and when you are discussing this poem, so you can uh, you can differentiate, you can find any difference between two words, which is a house and a home. So let's, uh, uh, it is explained by the poet, let's understand by their language, thereafter I will make you understand in my language, okay? First, what is a house? What is a house? A house, it's brick and stone. It's a brick and stone, stone you know anywhere, and bricks means, uh, have you seen, uh, it is made by sand, that is called a heat, okay? And wood that's hard. Wood means uh, the like uh, wooden wooden thing uh, which is uh, made by the tree. Okay. Some window glass and perhaps a yard. Yard means uh, or some place which has been vacant. There is nothing to do something. Okay. It's eaves. And what is the meaning of eaves, my dear? The edge of a roof that is stick out over the walls. So have you seen? This is the wall and here is. Um, is outside of the is and you can put up anything put on anything any article which is not usable okay that is called is chimneys and tile floors tile floor you know very well okay and tile floor and stuck and roof and lots of door stuck means my dear stuck means plaster fine plaster this you are I think you have seen this board and the floor uh, this is this wall and this is fine plaster that is called a stuck okay and a uh, doors you know means uh, exactly poet want to say one thing if a whole house what is the house house is uh, made uh, with uh, bricks stone and there is a uh, eaves and there is a chimney a stuck and uh, means uh, some articles are there many things are there means here is a only wall we can say also there is a wall okay like a pillar or roof and floor these things are there but there is no any affection there is no any love there is no any relationship between the parents children and grandparents and grandchildren who all are living in the room who all are living in the house so exactly there is no family there is a, a no emotion, there is a no affection, there is a no relationship. That's a only a vacant room that is called a house, not a home. Now, let's see the next para which is called, what is the home? What is the home? It's a loving and family and doing for others. It's a brothers and sisters It's a, and fathers and mothers. It's a unselfish acts and kindly sharing and showing your loved ones you are always caring. So you, I think you are you are getting to understand what is the meaning of these things and these words which has been used, which has been used in this poem. In this poem, the poet tells us what is the home, 
होम इज कॉल्ड दैट थिंग विच इज विच इज मेड विद द ब्रिक्स स्टोन दो थिंग्स डेफिनेटली स्टक ऑल्सो इज देयर पिलर फ्लोर एंड रूफ ऑल दिस थिंग देयर बट देर इज अ फैमिली देर इज अ ब्रदर एंड सिस्टर देर इज अ पेरेंट्स देर इज अ ग्रैंड पेरेंट्स ग्रैंड चिल्ड्रं ऑल आर लिविंग अंडर वन रूफ ऑल आर केयरिंग टू ईच अदर ऑल आर रिस्पेक्टिंग ऑल आर लविंग ऑल आर केयरिंग टू ईच अदर दैट इज कॉल्ड होम इट्स द डेफिनेशन इज कॉल्ड The definition is given by the uh, Lauren Hill. You know, there's a poet named Lauren Hill. Okay. So according to the poet, this is the definition. This is the difference between how house and home. I think my dear students, you have got it. But uh, I would like to explain in Hindi if you would if you would like to understand in this language. So uh, you can understand it easily in the Hindi in the, in the Hindi meaning definitely. Okay. So let's start in Hindi some word thing. यार बच्चों यहाँ पे एक चीज समझी नहीं हमको कि हाउस और होम में क्या डिफरेंट होता है हाउस मतलब वो चीज़ है जो ईट से बनी हुई है पत्थर से बनी हुई है जिस पर फाइन प्लस्टर है ईव्स है छज्जा निकला हुआ है छत है नीचे फ्लोर है हर एक चीज़ है चलो माना कि हमने इसमें कुछ लोग भी रहते हैं लेकिन तेर इज नो लाव वहाँ पर प्यार नहीं है अपेक्शन नहीं है रिलेशनशिप नहीं है यहाँ तक कि वहाँ पर लोग केयर नहीं करते हैं सब लोग अपने 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 काम में व्यस्त हैं बिजी है जैसे कि आज की डेट में आप जानते हैं एक एक व्यक्ति दूसरे व्यक्ति की हेल्प और केयर करने के बजाय वो अपने फोन और मोबाइल फोन में लगा हुआ है तो वो एक घंटा मतलब अपने पेरेंट्स के साथ बैठने के बजाय एक घंटा वो फोन के साथ बैठ जाएगा तो बेटा जहाँ ये प्यार नहीं है अफेक्शन नहीं है रिलेशनशिप नहीं है केयरिंग नहीं है तो वो हाउस ही कहलाएगा घर नहीं कहलाएगा सिमिलरली अब घर क्या चीज होती है हाउम होम क्या है होम हम उससे कहते हैं जहाँ जो बना तो उन्हीं ऊंची चीज़ों से जिसमें ईंट है पत्थर है रोड़ी बजरी बदरपुर जो भी लगता है प्लस्तर सब चीज़ें हैं फ्लोर छत हुआ टाइल वाइल सब चीज़ें हैं लेकिन इसमें जो फैमिली रह रही है उन फैमिली के बीच एक रिलेशन है एक इमोशन है एक अट्रैक्शन है एक रिस्पेक्ट है बात सुनना रही तो कहने का मतलब है कि इन ये सभी चीज़ें उस घर में हैं सब एक दूसरे की केयर करते हैं सब एक दूसरे से प्यार करते हैं तो उससे हम घर कहीं ठीक बड़ा मुझे लगता है कि आपको बहुत अच्छी तरह समझ में आ गई है पोएम ओके लेट्स वी विल मीट इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो टिल वेन थैंक यू